In the last video, on Tuesday, I showed you how to clone yourself in DaVinci Resolve. Today, I'm going to show you how to remove somebody in DaVinci Resolve, and then, you know, replace them with somebody else. Although in this case, it's going to be the same person. It's magic, don't worry. You'll be impressed, so let's get started. Before we do though, my name's Ray, this is Live With Ray. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on creativity and technology, so, you know, consider subscribing if you haven't already, because I'm coming out with more of these things, like, all the time. Plus that, it's more fun for everyone. So let's get into it. So this past weekend, me and my girlfriend recorded a video for our new channel, The Foodie 2, which if you haven't checked it out yet, you definitely need to, especially if you like food. I don't know why you wouldn't, you're a person, right? You like food? Awesome, check it out. I'll leave a link up here, down here, you know. It's gonna be somewhere, definitely in the description though. And in this video, what ended up happening was we had multiple takes. So we're sitting here at this desk and I didn't say something right the first time and the second time I said it great. Her expression the first time was good, but then the second time, eh. So what we ended up doing was using the good take of me talking and replacing her in that clip with a clone. Not like an evil alternate universe clone, you know, like evil terror or something like that. No, we ended up using the second take and replacing her with that. So I'm gonna show you the original take right now. Check out the video too. Krispy Kreme decided to give me a free dozen of donuts, original glazed, for my birthday, and I got an email saying that there's only three days left to take advantage of the Reese's flavors that they have. Two now, because, you know, it's... Okay, cool. So in this clip, you can see that her mouth was open twice. This time, though, I'm gonna show you where her mouth was open once, but she still looks surprised. I got an email saying that there's only three days left to take advantage of the Reese's flavors that they have. Two now, because, you know, it's, I got the email yesterday. Oh, but did you notice something? My mouth is not synced up. That's right, and there was a pretty heavy jump there too, right? Okay, don't worry, you're not imagining stuff and my editing skills aren't that terrible. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So going back over, we're gonna use that top clip of Tara and we're gonna use the bottom clip of me. We're gonna go into the color tab and first thing that I'm gonna do is right click and I'm gonna click on add alpha output. You're gonna drag a line from the blue box to the blue dot and that is going to activate your alpha layer. That's gonna output. So next what we wanna do is go to our power windows tap on the gradient here and then we're gonna rotate it because now we have something weird going on it's like reaching into another dimension with my hand boom so now let's see how that works I got an email saying that there's only three days left to take advantage of the Reese's flavors that they have two now because you know it's I got the email yesterday her mouth's shut. Look at that magic, and I'm synced up. So, you know, it's the best of both worlds. All I did was add a gradient and switch the alpha output so that way part of the image was showing through and the other wasn't. Now, you wanna make sure that if you are doing this that your camera's gonna be very still, otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna be really hard to work with. It's probably gonna be impossible. You might as well just reshoot the entire thing, but well, you know, we didn't really wanna do that. So this happened again later in the video, so around 7 minutes and 50 seconds, I ended up having two takes again. What I did with this was I layered them on top of each other, same thing that I did the last time. I found the parts where I was trying to match it up with her actions and me speaking, and you know, just watch and you'll see what I'm talking about. We're gonna play it through the way it really happened. It, it was the middle child. I'm gonna give it a little bit higher at a three, but so, you know, itchy nose. It happens, it's dry in here, it's Texas. Cool, so next what we're gonna do is just play it through this time with the correct track. It, it was the middle child. I'm gonna give it a little bit higher at a three, but I'm being very generous here. Okay, obviously you can see she's not scratching her nose, but I'm not synced up. I'm not even speaking the right words. It's like I'm speaking in riddles or something like that. So we need to fix that. The subtitles are somebody speaking over me. Dubbed, that's the word. Totally dubbed. 
So now what we're doing is we are going to create another gradient on here. Before we do, we need to add an alpha output. So we're gonna drag that line just like the last time, same thing. And again, we're gonna drag it here and over. Now, if we go over, let's play that one more time. This time, you're gonna see the difference. It, it was the middle child. I'm gonna give it a little bit higher at a three, but I'm being very generous here. Cool, so she's not scratching her nose. I'm in sync, life is good, everything's great, and that's how you accomplish that task. That's totally how I replaced my girlfriend with a clone. It'll be our little secret though. Please don't tell her. It's kind of like the sixth day or something like that. Now I did run into another instance with another one of my videos. Unfortunately, I just wasn't able to find it where I did the same exact thing, but in that instance, I actually froze the frame. So I just froze myself actually and kept her talking and moving. And then right afterwards, I let it keep playing. There wasn't a ton of movement in it. I mean, if there's a ton of movement, it's gonna be really weird if you jump and the other person doesn't. So try and pay attention to your timeline and what's going on, because you definitely don't want that to happen. So if you ever run into a situation where this would have been useful, but you just didn't use it, I wanna know down in the comments below. Also, let me know if you have been using it. I'd love to hear about it. Go ahead and smash that like button if you got value out of this. If not, then I really don't wanna hear about it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Ring the bell while you're at it, cause you know, you wanna know when I come out with my next video. And until next time, I'll catch you later.